there used to be a, a house every half mile out in the country. There's probably a house every three, four miles yeah. now out in the country. I mean, it took that many more people to raise, to grow crops and, and 80 to 80 to 100 bushel corn was, was tremendous. And our country would starve on that now. Yeah. We just use that much more commodities. You know, nobody's making more ground. Um, so we're trying to utilize the ground that we have and maximize that yield because the world population, it's still going to keep growing. And so we got to keep up with, you know, yields. So we're constantly trying to figure ways out to keep our yields increasing. Um, we're going to have to keep, you know, keep evolving, keep getting uh, new ideas. And like I said, you know, some, sometimes those ideas come from people that aren't in the ag industry. Distech works with embedded software, and that's software, that's all the control algorithms and everything that go inside a box, a black box in your car. Is, it's a box with embedded software in it. And we've been doing embedded software, different people at Distech since the 80s at least, or, or late 70s. And it's that embedded software is what's going to continue to get more and more complicated. The boxes are gonna get more and more powerful, and it's gonna help people continue to meet the demands of a growing population. systems have a, take a planter, an eight row planter. If you don't have a square field, so you've got a, a field row like this, you come down here and now you need to stop. And so all this triangle down here doesn't get planted. Or you go too far because you want to plant it and now you've got overlap with the other, with the other uh, rows that you had on the diagonal. So being able to get the technology in there, these, these planter rows now are turning off individually. You don't have to turn them all off like in the old days. And now, so you come up there, you turn this one off, you turn this one off, you turn this one off, you turn this one off. It comes up there with a perfect, perfect meld with the other diagonal row that you have. It saves seed, it's a lot more efficient. The corn, the corn or beans or whatever you're planting that you do plant grows better because you don't have overlap. Um, you don't have too many, too much of a population in one area. You know, back in the day, you just, you planted till you thought it was through the end row. And then now it's, you know, it takes the guesswork out of, out of it. You know exactly when that, when that planter's planting, when that sprayer's, you know, spraying. A, a big part of that accuracy, that's all because of GPS, the capabilities of GPS. In addition to the satellites, they use a, a ground-based system. RTK is a very popular one. The systems on tractors are not like what's in your car. They can actually control sub one inch accuracy. So you're going a half a mile down a field and it's going to do a straight line and it's not going to vary by an, by an inch all the way down that half mile. It knows exactly where to go. And that's a big enabling feature of technology. Once the GPS got into the ag equipment, uh, all the possibilities, people just started thinking of more uses of them and, and it's still happening. Fuel efficiency. It doesn't matter whether that implement is six inches in the ground or six and a half inches in the ground. It makes a big difference on the pull on the vehicle. So if the operator dials in that he wants six inches in the ground, if if you hit a hard spot and the hitch comes up just a little bit so that the, the engine doesn't lag, it doesn't hurt anything farming wise and it makes it so much more fuel efficient. So back in the 70s when fuel was, was really tight, this became a big push in engineering and, and over the years and they've become much more efficient in, in because of the technology that's on there. It's just amazing to me how little fuel we actually use now. So these are the kinds of things that electronics are doing. The software is a huge part of the electronics. The electronics keeps getting more powerful because the software does more and more functions all the time. Diagnostics in the vehicles is a big thing. Communications, and now of course everybody knows about big data going, going off into the cloud to keep records on how, what exactly your field looks like. One area that's becoming really important is functional safety. And that's, that's the discipline to know that you're using the right processes, the right procedures, the right tool sets and everything else you need to make sure that your software has been developed with safety in mind. 
Tasking's been a company that we've used for a long time for some of those tools that help us do that. Um, and they continue to grow. There's, there's more, more standards coming down the line for vehicular uh, software. And uh, I think Tasking's gonna be with us for a long time.